Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something kind of different, but something I asked you guys if you wanted to see and you said yes. So today I'm going to share with you guys a little tour of my vanity. This is just my little makeup space in my room. Now the reason I'm sharing this with you guys now is because about a week or two ago, I went through an extreme purge of makeup. I have been feeling the need to simplify things in my life. I have lots of reasons and I have actually lots of good videos coming up about organization and purging and getting rid of stuff. But for me, it was just, I had an overwhelming amount of stuff. I am a beauty product lover. It has been a hobby of mine since I was a teenager. So I'm the kind of person that I'm a bit of a hoarder, honestly, like I just keep stuff and I have a really hard time throwing stuff away because it comes from a mentality of, of feeling like I'm being wasteful if I throw something away that's not completely used up and feeling like, well, I should give it to somebody who needs it. Like, isn't there somebody who needs it that I could give it to? I just have a really hard time getting rid of stuff. Ask my husband. It drives him crazy because he'll just like throw things away. And I'm like, but somebody could use that. Let's find somebody who could use that. And so I had to remind myself that like most people do not want your used old makeup. So what I did when I did this purge was I went through and I did not like KonMari because we can discuss this at a later date. I like some of the principles. I don't feel it's totally applicable as a mom of seven to use the KonMari method. But when it comes to my makeup stuff, what I did was I went through and I, I really thought about, do I ever use this? Not like, do I wish that someday I could use this? Do I want to maybe use this? Like I had a blue sparkly eyeliner. It's beautiful. Urban Decay blue sparkly eyeliner. Absolutely beautiful. Am I ever going to wear that or use it? And the answer is no. So what I did was I separated a box and I gave away a bunch of stuff to my friends. Anyways, and then I threw away like two garbage bags, two garbage bags full of stuff. And you're going to see, I still do have a fair amount of stuff left. It's not like I throw away everything, but this is so much less for me. So I'm just gonna go through and show you kind of the things I have on my desk and what I've got in my drawers and just kind of take you through and show you my thought behind what I did with each little area and how I kind of organized it and little tips along the way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and share it with somebody. If you know somebody who's trying to organize their vanity or maybe has like way too much makeup, solidarity sister. Let's talk about how we can get rid of some crap. All right, so here's just a little look at my vanity. It's over here in the corner of my room. This is just a desk from Ikea with the Alex drawers. I'll link everything down below in the description box for anything that is linkable, I will link. Um, so that's what that is. And then we'll just start here at the top. I have this print up here and I showed this actually, I think on Instagram and I got a ton of questions. I just bought it from a friend of mine that was selling it for one of her adoption fundraisers, but um, it's just a quote by this woman that I love to follow. Her name is Loveland Palm, and it's just a beautiful quote. So I bought that and framed it because I needed that like reminder every day. So I put it up there as my little reminder. And then my second shelf here, and these again are just these glass kind of, I don't know if they're called floating shelves or what, but these are from Ikea as well. Here I have my perfume collection. Um, I, I don't know if it's a, considered a big collection or small collection, I don't know, but I have some of the philosophy perfumes, which I really like. This is a favorite of mine and my husband's, he really likes it when I wear this one. And I actually just recently got um, Jesse James Decker's new perfume kitnish, which, doesn't smell how I thought it would smell. It actually smells very, a lot like a uh, kind of fancified baby powder. Good, but just not what I thought it was gonna smell like. This is like ultimate all time favorites. This is called Hot House Peony. I got mine at Anthropology, but they do sell them in other places. Amazing. And this year, this has replaced that for me. This is Twilly by Hermes. Just some various different perfumes and my little, I've got two little roller balls here. All right, so those are my perfumes. And then when you come down here, I just have, I used to have um, three little boxes like this that had three drawers in each of them. And they were like the acrylic see-through ones. And I just felt like it made everything look messy because you could see everything. And so, I mean, I'm guys, I want to cut throat on my stuff. But anyways, so up top here, I just have this little... It's just a little gift set of Clinique Chubby Sticks. Who named those? Find that kind of funny. 
but I really like them. Um, so I keep those up there. And then I also just have my little fresh um, lip scrubs. Ooh, is that gonna drive somebody crazy, that one upside down? Guys, sorry. Okay, <laughs> I just have my little fresh sugar scrubs. See, my other ones made holes in the wall right here that need to be fixed. And then some of my Buxom lip products. Over here I have my one little acrylic lipstick holder that have my MAC lipsticks, some Bite um, Beauty lipsticks. These are just some of my favorite little Maybelline lip glosses. Um, some of my Urban Decays that I really like, of course. My Sarah Hap lip bumper thingy that I absolutely love and I've talked to you guys about that before. And then back here I just have a few kind of skincare things that I don't use all necessarily on a daily basis but pretty close. Um, this is something my sister gave me. I think she got it in a subscription box and she just didn't like it for her oily skin. So I've really been liking it. It's an illuminating setting spray by Cover FX. Good stuff. Then I have my Max Fi Mac Fix Plus. When I talk too fast I slur my words. This is the Flash Illuminator by Estee Edit, and I really like this stuff. Don't go too heavy with it or you'll look like a disco ball. And then of course, my fave, Bare Minerals Good Hydrations Primer. I um, love that stuff. And I also like this stuff, and I don't use it nearly enough. I need to bust this out again. This is the Glam, Go Glam Glow, see, I can't talk. Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Who names these things? Like Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer Hydrant Mega Illuminant. That's a mouthful. It's like a pretentious name of a Southern child. Um, these are my brushes. They need to be washed desperately. So just, I would tell you not to judge me, but if you're somebody who judges based on brushes, we're probably not friends anyways. So these are my dirty brushes. Again, I really narrowed it down. These are ones I don't use much, but I didn't want to throw away. These are like every day. I, what's the cool kids term? My ride or die. I don't even know what that means, but I like the brushes. So there you go. And then over here in these drawers, um, let's see, I don't know, where do I start? We'll just start here. And this one, I just have some mascaras. Now the reason I have three of these by Essence is because I bought them in a three pack on Black Friday. Um, I can't say that I like in love with them. You guys know this is my, this is my like favorite mascara right now is the Roller Lash. But I did get a sample of this stuff, the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I really like that stuff. So I just threw away a ton of eyeliner. So I've got some liquid liners, some co a few colors here. And yeah, just, I mean, what I legitimately am going to use. And then down here, we've got some brow products right here, and then some kind of everyday lip stuff. And then right here is just where I have my concealers and my foundations. You guys know, this is what I use all the time, is the Clinique BB. I have been trying out the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. I've been trying this out, and I've just got some concealers, and so that's what I keep in that drawer. And then in this one, I have some blush, bronzer, and then of course my two little favorites here. These are the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Light Wand and Contour one. These things are amazing and I absolutely love them. So that's what I keep in that drawer. You guys, if you had, I just wish I could have shown you before because this is a far cry from what this looked like before. And then let's talk to each other super close up and uncomfortably. So I got this Impressions Vanity Light from Nordstrom and again I will leave this linked. I really like it because it's just a touch, you use a battery instead of plugging it in and it's just turning it on and off and then you can hold it down and dim the light if you don't want that much or you can hold it down and brighten the light. I don't know how well you can see in there but it really does kind of nicely illuminate your face for more of like a natural daylight look when you're doing your makeup. So you can see um, all of your wrinkles and imperfections really nice and close up so you can obsess over them in front of a mirror because let's be honest that's what we do when we get these kind of mirrors I don't dare get the one with a magnifier on it dear god do you know how much time I would spend just like picking apart every little part of my face no thank you all right so then moving on to the drawers that are over here now Here's a little tip. If you're like me and you don't want to buy the little containers from the container store, just save your monthly Birchbox boxes and use those to separate your stuff. 
because that is what I have done. This one just again has more lip products in it, lip liners, you know, lip glosses, my fave also. Okay, I have too many favorites. I really like this stuff from It Cosmetics. Just so much good stuff and a few extra concealers and brighteners and stuff right here. Um, I have my color switch, which is really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, if I've ever talked about it, but it's a way that you can kind of clean off your makeup brushes while you go so you can use multiple colors on the same brush. I got some scary looking lashes right here, eyelash curler, glue, all that kind of stuff, sharpener, my beauty blender, and my Real Technique sponge, these little guys, which I haven't actually busted out yet, and a few more eyeliners. These are more like funky colored ones, bronze, stuff like that, my eye brightening ones. And then this is just a drawer of lipsticks stuff. This is amazing. This is, I think, a color that like almost everybody should own. And um, this is Love Sick by Kat Von D, and it's such a good color. It's got some Stila liquid lips, you know, just again, lipsticks that I will actually use though. So that's what's in here. This Ubi diaper pail is getting in the way. I bet you don't see that on most beauty gurus channel. Excuse me while I move my poopy diaper pail to get to my makeup. <laughs> All right, so this is what I've dwindled my palettes down to, you guys, seriously. This just has um, some loose pigments and um, yeah, just some glitters and loose pigments that I wasn't ready to part with. And then this is one of my very favorite everyday palettes, the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Absolutely love this. Think this is pretty much perfect for anybody. I've got my uh, Lorac Unzipped palette here. It cosmetics naturally pretty. You guys can see these palettes are well loved. The Lorac Pro, that's the second one, the gray one. Um, I'm a big fan of Lorac eyeshadows love them. As you can see, I have the other pro mega palettes here. Yeah, they get lots of love. I absolutely love those palettes. I think they are more than worth what they cost. And then down here is where I have X, where I have more, like these are foundations. When I want a more full coverage look, I'll pull for stuff like this. Um, I just have some other foundations in here. Like this is my summer shade. I go from being fair to light, you know, extreme, extreme difference for us pale people. Um, medium in the Clinique BB cream, you know, all that kind of stuff. Then I've got just some more highlighters, powders. Uh, let's see. My Hourglass Ambient Light, love that. My um, Pink and White Ben Nye powders, which I love. Um, a few setting powders. I don't really use powder much anymore, but I just wasn't ready to part with that. My It Cosmetics Bronzer. My NARS Eda brush, which is a good brush when I actually want to contour. I've got a Tarte Contour Palette in there. A um, MAC Bronzer and a Motives contour palette. This is actually really good too. So just some, you know, contouring face stuff, but it's all organized and it's all separated and that's what's important. And the very bottom one is just where I keep some empty makeup bags and extra of the lip organizer, but just a bunch of empty makeup bags and I think that's actually some old hair extensions in there. All right, you guys, so that's everything. That's like a little tour of my vanity and I know to some of you guys that still might seem like a ton of makeup. Um, probably to most of you, it seems like a ton of makeup. If you are a makeup beauty lover, then it might not seem like enough to you. But this for me right now is a huge win. It's a huge accomplishment in my desire to get more organized and stuff. So it's nice, I can keep it clean, I can keep it looking nice and picked up. Um, and, I, and I feel more like now if I see something, I really know what I have. So if I see a blush or something, I know if I actually already have a blush that looks like that because I actually know what I have now. Before it was like, I don't know if I should buy that or not. Like don't I, I think I might already have something that looks like that, I don't know. So yeah, all on a mission to just kind of get things more organized and make sure that everything has a place. And I think that's what's most important is it's, it's not really about do you have five makeup products or do you have 500 makeup products, but do the things that you have have a place? Do they have a home to go to when you are not using them? I think that's the key to keeping your house looking clean and tidy and keeping areas clean and tidy is that everything has a home and a place to go to. So that is what I'm working on in our entire house, not just my vanity but I thought I would start with a small win. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, do you guys have like full vanity desks at your house or do you just have like a, a bag of makeup and that's what you carry around is just your bag of makeup? I would love to know. I feel like all of us women are so different when it comes to this stuff. So. 
So yeah, thanks again, guys, for spending some of your precious time with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye.